evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back on the CMA 2022 online. Tonight, again, a super program, some super guests. The program you saw on Facebook, of course, and uh, we go immediately with our guests because we have a very, very full schedule tonight. It's from Italy. We have a lot of Italians tonight, especially with the diatonic category results. But this one doesn't play diatonic. I think no, but he will tell us. Uh, he's from Italy, I said. is Marco Russo. Hello, Marco. Oh, hi, hi, Frederick. It's nice, 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 nice to stay with you. And I want to say hello to all our friends and accordionists and musicians, all of us in this moment from all parts of the world. Thanks so much. Hey, we need to thank uh, our sponsor, Bulgari, because with Paolo Picchio, because he's sponsor, I said, I will make a programmation and I would like some artists from you to have some suggestion. And you say, yes, this one, this one. And of course, Marco Leroux, so you will see special accordionist. So how did you come to accordion first in your life? Well, yes, it's very strange history and very nice. Well, I'm Marco Russo and like producer, my nickname is Rouge too. Of course, I'm accordionist, composer, producer, and now I teach jazz arranging, jazz conducting, and film music at the Cimarosa Conservatory of Avellino in Italy. Of course, I teach in the accordion too, but now uh, this is my focus. I started learning music, especially accordion and piano, when I was uh, 10, 11 years old. But very full joke, because uh, just the one uh, teacher from the school say, yeah, why you don't study that for music? I say, bah, I don't well. know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just like to play, play soccer. But for me, you must do. Well, I start, I say, to my grandmother like accordion. And this is my start about the accordion. But after the life, it was an upgrade because uh, since I was a boy, I have met many musicians of different kind of music. And maybe for this reason, I've, I've not concentrated just on our lo lovely instrument, the accordion. I had the honor to collaborate with many great artists uh, like uh, Nicola Giovanni, Ennio Morricone, Leo Brauer, and many others uh, like actors, uh, singers in the pop music, etc., etc. I performed in season of classical music and jazz, like Jazz Foundation of America, United States, or in a worldwide TV at the presence of Pope Benedetto and Pope Francesco. A lot, a lot of experience. This, I think, this vision gave me the opportunity to, to do many experiences with the accordions, because I love the accordion, and uh, with the accordions that I have always used it. Armando Bugari accordions. Bravo. Uh, I have five instruments, but uh, my preference is to use two models in particular. The new one, it's uh, the free bass compact. Mm -hmm. It's a very compact instrument and uh, it's very nice, especially because I use this kind of instrument uh, of course, when I play in concert, but especially when I produce and compose soundtrack for film. And um, because uh, it's very nice to make a mix with this uh, acoustic sound of this kind of instrument and uh, with the electronic support or the software instrument in the recording studio of my studio, of course. And the other instrument I play, it's, uh, of course, a standard bass, a Stradella bass, a, a model opera. It's mm -hmm. all in uh, um, actual wood, and uh, it's very, very nice instrument. Well, the characteristic of this uh, kind of instrument is very, very uh, easy, very, very, it's not heavy, mm -hmm. especially the, the opera uh, standard bass when I use for some show, when I stay stand up with dancers like this, it's very important to don't have a heavy instrument, you know very well. Yeah, of course, of course. And uh, so what I propose to you is uh, we will listen now your first title that you sent to me. You sent to me a, a proposal and um, yes. in general, I take two or three from each artist, but uh, I decided to show a little bit more from you because you are very special and so many different 
types of music as you explain because you have so many meetings with different musicians so the first one is uh, ave maria dedicated to the pop francis so please present Certainly. present that uh, well, the history is very easy. After I played at the World Youth Day in Krakow, Poland in 2016, I, I had visited uh, one monastery. I was inspired and I composed this devotional songs for Pope Francisco. And especially in this period, Pope Francisco prayed for us artists. And for this um, reason, I dedicate my Ave Maria to him. For us, accordionists, the particular of this song, uh, it was to do, my idea is to mix it, the sound of say, opera, freestyle standard accordion Bulgari, with a, a young voice of soprano. Okay, superb. Let's listen, it's absolutely marvelous. <laughs> C'est beau, <laughs> such poesy in your fingers. It's very impressive, these sentences. And when you play exactly uh, with the second melody following exactly and the shadow, it's with the sound of this accordion. Is it the accordion you have behind you? Yeah, this, this accordion at piano, it's model, it's uh, in, in maple wood opera, free standard. Okay. And uh, yes, I, I love to, you know, my friend, uh, uh, I think the music, Giochino Rossini told, the music exists good or bad. I don't say my music is good or bad, but I try to find a sense of what I what, what I have inside of me, you know? And uh, this is the sense of these devotional songs, is to give to do to some other people, no? This is the idea. Yeah, yeah, and, and it really works. So I, I try to make the selection a little bit crescendo and crescendo in the tempo and the energy yeah. and like bolero idea no like bolero <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> tic -tic -tic -tic. <laughs> exactly <laughs> and uh, the second title it's uh, moon over catamarca so exactly exactly, exactly. Uh, moon over catamarca this is a song of course uh, is part of uh, my one of my album the title is modern accordion it's also a show with dancers and has the characteristic of using the acoustic accordion with the support of electronic bass. Okay, uh, this this video we 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 we, we see uh, was made in Poland where where I performed many times. And uh, well, uh, uh, where is where the idea of this song? The moon is one like the sun of the elements. All people of the world look the same. We don't have two sun, two moon, or two sun. 
And in the moment when I wrote these songs, I was in Catamarca, in the province of Argentina, and I write this song. Uh, of course, it's completely another history because it's chill out. And uh, I, a lot of uh, uh, film production uh, used this song. Okay, great. So we listen immediately. Moon over Catamarca. a professional video clip very impressive every details the view the makeup the everything perfect black, black and white no what of course i tell the, the the truth this kind of music when i start to compose i i compose for a lot fashion week it's very typical for this kind of ambient and uh, well i like it i I, I'm very happy about this production. This and you production. are not the only one who like because on the chat I have a very nice message from Amel Mlivo, very very good musician from Balkan country, who say nice sound with a lot of feeling. Yes, Amel, you are right. I agree totally. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Big hug. So from the black and white we go to the red thank you for for the link you proposed me that beautiful link and uh, we go to red tango composition again yes yes this is this is, this is a composition it's a red tango it's maybe one of the my songs i most love uh, this song it, it is not uh, if it's from a mediterranean accordion live cd uh, this uh, cd was recorded during a live concert in the Finale e Media Theater in North Italy, Modena. Uh, it, was, it, was it was strange because, okay, this Mediterranean Accordion Live, uh, uh, it was one CD, make a great success, a lot of review, a lot of consideration, and many Morricone write about this CD too. It's very honored for me because uh, it's... Uh, one idea of my idea about some tango contamination with strings quartet with strings jazz quartet eight musicians on the stage uh, and mix this uh, this idea but the big surprise arrived for me in 2019 when some dancers and one Argentinian director made a official music video in Argentina like a gift and tribute to me. Mm -hmm. I'm very honored by this because, you know, Argentina, the land of tango. Hey, of course. And for me, make me crazy about this. And this uh, director of Argentina say, no, no, I won't make this, uh, this video because uh, I love, love this song and arrive at the official music video about Red Tango. Okay, let's listen to Red Tango. You really give us a want to listen to music. <laughs>
right. And very, very nice choice, by the way, of this uh, uh, flute and piccolo, I think, that you, you use. Or... Si, si, yes, uh, yes. This is, is just piccolo because I want to stay like uh, the, the sound of the accordion in this kind of, in this point of the songs, it's like a color mm -hmm. of one emotional and uh, uh, musical ambient. You know, sometimes I like to stay in front and sometimes I like to use uh, this instrument behind. Yeah, yeah, great. And you have, again, a very nice message from Laura Spagnolo. Very elegant sound. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Okay, so I said that we go crescendo and now we go to rock. <laughs> Normal. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Uh, from the Ave Maria, from the pop to <laughs> the rock, there is just three titles. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a Made in Italy tour concert. So this is a concept that you have that you can speak about. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Allora, uh, it, it was a great uh, honor for me because uh, a long years ago, in 2013-14, uh, Italian ambassador in uh, Cuba asked to me to close it the Italian Week of Culture in Cuba. Well, say, Marco, I'd like to receive your proposal. And I say, okay, I have one idea. To do one concert, concept, the title is Made in Italy, to do Italian song, but not just from Italian musician, but I'd love to create a mix of culture with Cuban artist, because this gave to me the opportunity to improve myself and uh, was very nice because uh, uh, start this uh, per project uh, and uh, in this concert I perform original repertoire uh, of a lot of course Italian music and I arrange in acoustic or, or, or with the support of the electronic. In this video you send um it's rock sound mixed because in, at the last of the concert we make improvisation with Dave Blanco it's Cuban rocker and uh, he is very nice it's very nice him and the band it's all yes. Cuban musician full of energy absolutely so on <laughs> these videos that I invite the people to just go and write Marco Lorusso in uh, YouTube because there are so many different titles different sounds and always elegant so, but now let's go to rock it will be short but intense <laughs> Marco sei un grande. Eh sì, un grande. <laughs> yes, and I really like the, the, the way you oh, make it. was very nice, very nice experience. You know, in some places of the world, like Cuba, you know, stay in Cuba, it's it's normal. I play heavy metal to come to con classical concert. I make a painting, I go to visit uh, another kind of artist. A lot interplay. Artist yeah, yeah. So great. So if the people want to have the information about your CD, about your uh, activities, okay. you have internet yes, sites? Yes. All, all of my website, uh, you have my discography, all CD and uh, it's a lot, a lot, a lot music production. Now all of my music production, it's the same on Spotify and you find me like Marco Lorusso or Marco Lorusso Rouge. Because uh, in 2017, I'm I arrived a finalist to Eurovision Song Contest, like producer in Lithuania, with a dance song. The title is Seven Days. I was uh, for a uh, jazz tour in Palanga, in Lithuania. Mm -hmm. And one great artist asked to me, oh, I, will, I, will, I want to make a song with you. And I mixed in the dance music the sound of the accordion uh, exactly in sync with the synth for make more um, dynamic of the sound. I, I use a lot, for example, for this uh, uh, work, I use a, a compact accordion of Bulgaria. 
uh, you know, a, ver, or have a mm -hmm. very precise sound to mix it with the electronic. Okay, great. So I will uh, really personally thank uh, Paolo Picchio to include you on the list because I make a very nice discovery. And uh, I have a question on the chat from Hove Stiger from Germany, super great artist. I don't know if you know him, but he's fantastic. Mm. Uh, cool posing. Do you play all this music in the same concert or do you have all program with each genre? I different. Okay, when I play, when I play alone, of course, like all accordionists, I have acoustic program. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I create a, a red dimension of made in Italy. First part, uh, classical music, but of course, Italian, Frescobaldi, uh, Marcello, etc. And the second part, more jazz and crossover. And in this co concert, when I have a possibility. I use all both the instrument. First part with the free bass compact and second part with the uh, opera in Applewood. Okay, great. So I think for the next uh, title we will listen is from Nino Rota and you play with a uh, forest of musicians from Seoul. And uh, I think you use uh, a free bass accordion for that title. No, no, I, I use I use a standard because standard, it's so. not possible to for for the for the fly. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes, this is a, it's a big problem for us. All accordions know well, this is very great. Well, I told before, made in Italy. It's a musical program. Cannot miss the soundtracks of Italian cinema. And with the Seoul String Orchestra, I went on concert tour in South Korea. And uh, I make arrangement of this soundtrack, and uh, well, uh, the, the it's very difficult to to choose. But I I uh, uh, I, I bring with me opera okay. because it's more easy. Okay, you're right, and lighter, of course. <laughs> Okay, so we will listen to that. Thank you so much for your presence with us. It's a great honor for me to meet you uh, first on Facebook and I cannot wait to meet you live somewhere because now there's no more COVID so we can travel again. And uh, congratulations for your career and your work. It's uh, so great to listen to accordion so on this style. Again, a new, new color of accordion. Thank you so much. So bye bye and we will finish with this Nino Rota Godfather with Marco Lorusso. Thank you so much. Bye bye, my friend. Ciao, 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 grazie, grazie a voi, thanks so much, my friends. Marco Lorusso, such a, a great ambassador of our sponsor Bulgari. And now we are here for the result of the category that everybody's waiting for with uh, my super friend, uh, Raymond Bodel. Hello, Raymond. Good evening, Fred. Good evening, everybody. Great to be back. And yeah, another night full of results. Exactly. And we begin by... Tonight we start, of course, it's Wednesday night, and we seem to make Wednesday night every time category one to start with. We've had one A, one B, and of course we're into week three now, so we're up to one C. That means we're progressing way up the age limit. We're up to nine years old now. My goodness. That's um, a strategy it showed... you have. I didn't, uh, I didn't follow this strategy, but bravo, you're exceptional. Uh, well, we're, we're, yeah, we're up to nine year olds think, today, yeah. you know, so... so um category 1c as i say so uh another large category as we know um very much predominated and obviously you've explained before the reason for 1a b c and d was the sheer fact of the volume and number of candidates from china particularly in 2020 and 2021 and of course they're doing the same in 2022 but uh that's going to appear as we see. I'll let you introduce the jury to start with. Uh, with pleasure, I'm ready. So on this category 1C, we have 
from uh, Azerbaijan, Shubran Kosharli. We are from Bosnia and Herzegovina, Ognin Yenyanin, Ognien Yenyanin, Tchenka Todorova from Bulgaria, Hunhao Mao from China, Peter Vacek from Czech Republic, Shkumbin Miftari from Kosovo, Vivian Moro from Luxembourg, Nemanja Potpari from Montenegro and from South Africa, Amarili Ackerman, such an international jury again. Exactly. And of course, we had 23 candidates in the category. So as usual, I'll let you show the places from 23rd all the way up to exactly. 4th. Exactly. Let me change the screen. Up. But, and uh, we can see that we have one candidate from Spain, we have uh, a lot, 18 candidates from China, I will don't say the name, we can read the name, but uh, I don't want to <laughs> hurt them saying the names, of course. And uh, we finish with a mark of 23.28 at the fourth place. Yeah, we finish at 23.28 and we keep going on upwards to 23.38 um, for third place. Our third prize winner is Sao Luan. And of I course. selected a, a very typical Chinese song, which is a celebration of liberation from Li Yinghai and played by uh, Kai Yuyan with a mark of 23.38. Let's go. Such a temperament for this young child. So, of course, I just uh, select very short samples to show, of course, our laureates. But uh, we can find all the videos on the site. We all the time remind, but it's important to remind all the times on the CME site. We have all after just after the Facebook Live. We have all the results from all the categories with the marks, the order, uh, the videos, and the dream, diplomas, dream. everything. And the second place. Second place from 23.38, we move to 23.58. The point two difference, quite a big jump, therefore, in this category. Again, from China, Mao Penguin. Mao Penguin will play a part of the children's suite for Dembenko, Derbienko. Let's go immediately in China. <laughs> Penguin at the second place of this category 1C. And probably because of the time of night, because um, of course it's what, uh, 11, 1 o'clock in the morning, probably in various parts of China at this point. A nine year old's probably sleeping, but heartiest congratulations to our winner. Um, good score, 23.66, obviously a first prize. Yuxun Yang. Exactly, but you know, it's like the child for Christmas when they are too young, they don't get the uh, presents uh, the 24th, but only the 25th morning. <laughs> so she will know tomorrow morning that she won this exactly. category and she will play a part of La Suite Bulgare. <laughs>
again full of temperament and every detail the decorations the dress the, the, the make uh, the, everything is perfect forza china and now we change totally style old. we change totally style now yeah we do definitely completely change a very important category in my opinion um important categories of the trophy mondial it's the international composition contest classic so very important category um so of course we gave it the respect that it deserves we had a huge jury for this category and sincerely i do thank everybody that's worked diligently for the jury to get their results in on time etc but we had 30 members on this jury over 20 different countries and so you've got a little presentation to make haven't you yes of course and uh, why 30 jury members on this category because normally we are between 10 and 20 uh, mm -hmm. it's because as you mentioned before for us it's one of the most important category because we really encourage the compose the, the young generation of accordionists to compose and every year we are absolutely amazed and surprised by the quality perhaps just only the top three but uh, of course we need to encourage them and last year we had this fantastic french uh, julien Botton who composed this mechanic and uh, it was uh, and this piece is beginning to be played in the international competitions exactly. and this is the goal of this category and why such you remember us because i wanted to involve a maximum of people uh, of course who are specialized on this kind of repertoire for senior classic masters and junior classic so the jury member say good luck to fred my friend <laughs> okay good luck fred thank you so we have from uh, Albania, Eran Kurani, from uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Belma Sarancic, from uh, Bulgaria, Cenka Todorova, Eduardo Marcian from Chile, Yang Bolong, delegate from China, Hun Hao Mao from China, Xu Chainan from China, Peter Vacek from Czech Republic, Yermila Vlakova from Czech Republic, Julien Botan, of course, we invite the winner of the previous year from France, Eric Dan, the new director of the Honor Trossingen Conservatory, from from Iran, uh, Golam Reza Seyed, from Italy, Cesare Chiacchiaretta, from Kosovo, <coughs> Kumbin Miftari, from Latvia, Spodris Katsan, from Luxembourg, Daniel Grusel, from Montenegro, Nemanja Potparic, from Poland, Darius Kovnatsky, Daniel Lis from Poland, Sergio Zampoli from South Africa, Juan Carlos Carcamo from Spain, Fernando Fraga Traba from Spain, Norberto Magin Pietro from Spain, Teresa Manzanero from Spain, such a huge delegation of Spanish this year, it's fantastic. Again, from Spain, the delegate, uh, the president of the association, Asas, uh, Javier Ramos Martinez, from Turkey, Aziz Ali, Ali Grouté, <laughs> who never succeed, from Ukraine, <laughs> Eugenia Cherkasov, from uh, um, Ukraine, Vladimir Runchak, and from Vietnam, Nguyen Tai Hung. I did it. Wow. Do I not go? So, the third place. <laughs> To the third place. No, you're jumping the gun. You're too keen. You have a presentation of the places, and of course, it is good oh. to have the younger players um, okay. being seen in this category. And of course, we had um, in fifth and fourth place that you are going to present. Exactly, my friends. That's why we are both together to help each other. So at the fifth place, we are from China, Juan Mingyao and Boyang. And at the fourth place, from South Africa, Hellers Loren, with 21.66. So, okay, now we come up to our prize winners of this, as I say, important category. And we go from 21.66 up to 22.90, so quite a large jump increase to get into that prize winning position but congratulations go to victor stocker from czech republic germany and he composed windstorm let's go so it's not a full piece but uh, just uh, uh, one minute and a half Thank <laughs> you. 
such a talent in this small boy and for the composition but also for the interpretation he really made something complicated and uh, so great to see some such a young boy i really don't know how old is he but uh, very impressive to compose at this age bravo but exactly what you were saying at the beginning isn't it young players you, you know young composers given the opportunity and it's heartiest congratulations to them but of course now we come to second and first place and of course the usual story as soon as I say who's second, the winner now knows he's won. But uh, there's always got to be a second and a first. We went from 22.90 up to 23.52. So over the first prize barrier of 23.5. So, you know, it was very creditable performance or oh, uh, composition for this category. And it is the composition from... Louis uh, Loris Duyer from Belgium. From Belgium. I wouldn't have been happy to be in this jury because when I discovered the title I said, Ooh, on the first and the second place was something like tremendous, so different style yeah. and such great talent. So, but uh, we have a lot of jury and they put their marks and uh, nobody knows from the jury who are the other people on the jury. That is great because then no communication yeah. and um, and it's a very impressive, very impressive work from Loris Douillet, who improved so many during these last three years. And uh, he composed this Mesa Brevis. So we listen the few last minutes, uh, but you can, of course, find all the composition. And I really invite all the people interested to go on the CME site to find this composition because it's uh, so deep and it's uh, something like 16, 17 minutes nearly. Okay, let's listen.
Loris Douillé and uh, this Mesa Brevis at the second place of this international competition contest 2022. And uh, hello, Estibalis Raka, who arrived and who said, beautiful, yes, you're right. And now we are with the winner. And uh, the winners, I will say, because they were both uh, uh, responsible about this victory, of course. Uh, Raymond, <laughs> let's introduce the winner. Okay, anyway, first place, uh, congratulations to our composer for this category. Excellent score of 23.64. So as you said, comparing the first and second, really quite close. Both very exceptional compositions. But our winner, um, composition is Caprice number three. Heartiest congratulations go to Denis Nierov from Ukraine. Denis Snigirov, yes, he's there. Denis, hello, nice to see you. You can turn on your microphone now because you will have to speak. Oh, cool. Hello, thank hello. You, thank you very much. And uh, we have uh, the interpret of uh, this composition who is Vyacheslav Mosejchuk, uh, who is, uh, who looks very happy. Hello. <laughs> So, Denis, my first question is, uh, how are you and where are you now in Ukraine? I'm in Kiev now and uh, I'm fine. Okay, <laughs> that's a positive way of Ukrainian. I'm in Kiev and I'm fine. Okay, so uh, what about electricity you don't have now? I, I have electricity, but... Um... Um, applies to uh, to economy. Ah, okay, okay, great. Because of okay. pollution. But you have. So my first question is, why you compose this caprice, and what was your inspiration to compose this caprice? What was your main idea, Slavik? Uh, Чому ти написав, яка була, що тебе надихнуло і яка головна ідея цього твору? Надихнула. Надихнула мене, не знаю, ми з тобою якось домовлялися, що я тобі щось напишу. Ти я написав, ти немає ніякої головної ідеї. Грошей підзаробити головна ідея, бо нема зовсім. He says that it was not so big main, main point. We just spoke together like a friends. And he says that he want to write something. But he don't need to perform it, so he wanted to write something like for me, and of course I say yes, of course, and uh, he began to write. Ah, I didn't, I didn't know. You didn't say that to me, Slavik. It's genial. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't you don't know. know a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the I point. I also didn't know the result today. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know. From the beginning, from the beginning, I started writing the caprice because. Вибирав віртуозний твір собі для конкурсу і не міг довго вибрати його, тому почав саме каприси писати. Uh, he says that for the beginning he began to write only caprices because he were looking for virtuosic pieces for competition. So he don't find good one, he decided to write himself. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. That's the Bravo. best best strategy, my friend. Absolutely the best strategy. And now I have a question for you, uh, Vyacheslav Mosejchuk. Why? Um, what was the main difficulty on this piece? <laughs> difficulty, <laughs> but it's all piece like you know. I think technically, just to practice and uh, perform it on the stage because it's quite uh, tired to play full piece uh, virtuosic like that. But yeah, it's this kind of music that if you don't have the adrenaline of the concert or the yeah. competition, you cannot play good because yeah, you need yeah. to be over your limits. And uh, what I love from Denis at the beginning of the scores is written as fast as possible. <laughs> 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 like Ukrainian tractor, but uh, modern, you know. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Denis, so you win money. You will win money. We don't know how much now because um, we need to wait for the end of the CMA. But we had good news. This uh, Today we founded an, another sponsor. So 
<laughs> it's good news because Honor joined us. It was just a small problem of misunderstanding with uh, Honor. I thought they didn't want to continue. And uh, oh, no, no, they wanted to continue. So super, because now we have four sponsors with uh, Honor, uh, Bulgari, and uh, Paolo Soprani and Tiranti. So we are very happy and proud of that because all the money they give to us, uh, we use for the prizes of the candidates. So Dennis, you will know how much you win the 30th of December. You understand? Does it? Okay, so you, yeah. you, you will have to wait. And um, Vyacheslav, you win nothing, but you played very good. Only <laughs> <laughs> in time for Ukrainian Christmas. Exactly. <laughs> so the, the, the moment. So, yeah, yeah, we, we will share Ukrainian way. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Genial. Mm. You are fantastic, my friend. It's, uh... <coughs> okay, it's very big emotion. And um, we listen now this Caprice number three. Uh, Danis, congratulations. Bye bye. Uh, Vyacheslav, congratulations for your interpretation. And uh, Danis, next year you will be on the jury of CMA. Thank you very much. It's, Goodbye. it's your fault. <laughs> okay, bye bye, my friend. <laughs> and we listen your composition, genial, that will be played, I think. And I think a lot of people will ask for the notes, for the scores. We will give. <laughs> performing this uh, fantastic new composition from Denis uh, Snigirov uh, from Ukraine, Peace to Ukraine, of course. 
And now we will uh, change totally style and repertoire. We will go back to Italy with someone that we know absolutely very well in the CMA because he is our international collaborator for the Diatonic International Accordion Competition, Trophy Mondial Diatonic, and he is also the delegate for the CMA Chromatic. It's Danilo Di Paolo Nicola. Ciao, caro. Ciao, ciao a tutti. Buonasera, ciao Fred. Allora, ti è piaciuto l'ultimo pezzo che è un quasi saltarello finalmente per l'articolazione, no? Eccezionale, eccezionale, veramente impressionante. Sì, sì, eh, eh sì, eh sì, è così. Allora, ehm, sei con noi per, perché tu sei il nostro amico. Eh, ah sì, no, tu non parli l'inglese, sì, è vero. Non, non importa e, um, perché sei anche il collaboratore della ditta Paolo Soprani ci vede il bello Paolo Soprani dietro di te due fidarmoniche, sì, la sì. piccolina e la più grossa allora <coughs> puoi spiegare per favore la tua relazione con questa ditta famosa con il nome gigante Certo, la Paolo Soprani chiaramente è un nome importantissimo, e non serve che lo spieghi io chiaramente, lavoro con loro da tanti anni e chiaramente mi occupo di seguire la linea degli strumenti, un po' eh, come devono essere fatti a livello estetico e le specifiche tecniche e oltre a questo lavoro qui ovviamente suono i loro strumenti e li dimostro nei miei progetti e un po' in tutto il mondo. Okay, so I just ex uh, asked him because he's a CMA uh, international collaborator for the CMA Diatonic and also a delegate for Chromatic uh, from Italy. And uh, he's also in very close relation and collaboration with um, firm uh, Paolo Soprani. And uh, so he helps them for the conception of new models and he make a demonstration. Uh, puoi presentare il piccolino dietro di te che è carino? Sì, il piccolino che ho qui. That's a dream, the same for classic. È un tubotte, tubotte organetto abruzzese. E questo strumento qui l'ho fatto interamente io, tranne la verniciatura ovviamente. La cassa l'ho costruita io. E quindi è un primo prototipo che io ho realizzato per poi mettere in produzione con la fabbrica Paolo Soprani. Ok, so he said that this instrument he just created himself in collaboration with Paolo Soprani. And now I am a little bit afraid because I see that this instrument has just only two bases. <coughs> And um, we don't have this category. We have category four bases, we have category eight bases, 12 to 24, you see, I know now, after hybrid, but we don't have this. Ho detto che mi fa un po' paura di vedere questa fidarmonica perché ha solamente due base. Allora dobbiamo creare un'altra categoria? <laughs> no, no, ho capito, ho capito. C'è la categoria fino a quattro bassi. La ah, categoria A comprende due, quattro. <laughs> Okay, it's uh, the category is uh, until four bases, so you can have only one base, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, allora, ascoltiamo il primo titolo che mi ha mandato, che si chiama Volla, Volla, Volla. Mi può presentare oh. un po'? Eh, mi presenta un po' il video, il superb um, videoclip. No? Non me la presenta? Lo presento io? Sì. Dopo io eh, faccio play su YouTube. Ok, siccome non abbiamo deciso i brani, magari prima manda il brano perché non so qual è e poi ne, ne parlo. Ok, he said that we didn't collaborate about the selection I did, so first I have to put the title and after I will speak about. Ok, let's do it. Volla, volla, volla. Vola, 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 e vola, 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 vola
Magnifico, Bene, una bella questa visita è, l'or- dell'Italia. è l'Orchestra Popolare del Saltarello, è un mio progetto che ho creato, ho creato qualche anno fa, nel 2014, e questo brano qui è Vola Vola, è il, diciamo, l'inno abruzzese, la, cioè la mia regione, e questo è il, il primo videoclip che abbiamo realizzato con l'Orchestra Popolare del Saltarello, ha avuto un grande successo questo videoclip perché in qualche giorno, in un paio di giorni ha fatto oltre 200.000 visualizzazioni che per un progetto eh, diciamo regionale sono numeri importanti e volevo dire con l'Orchestra Popolare del Saltarello abbiamo fatto tante collaborazioni importanti con Antonella Ruggero quest'estate addirittura con Goran Bregovic eh, con ehm, Eugenio Bennato e tanti altri artisti importanti Ok, grazie per la frase un po' lunga che devo tradurre. <laughs> allora, uh, he just um, present this project that is a few years ago. He created this concept of Orchestra Popolare del Saltarello. And uh, this music uh, was uh, an term of Abruzzo. Sì. Ok, hai visto, ho seguito. And uh, he says that uh, with this group, uh, with Orchestra Popolare del Saltarello, they have a lot, a lot of uh, connection with so many great artists and they mix a lot of things. You, you mix with rap, you mix with so many singers famous. You say the name, but I don't remember. So, uh, uh, allora, stasera ho scelto solo Orchestra Popolare del Saltarello. Questo, un'altra e un'altra. La prossima, la prossima saria, sarebbe Maria Nicola. Ti ricordi? Okay. Sì, eh, la, la presento. Sì. Maria Nicola è sempre mh, un brano popolare abruzzese perché l'Orchestra Popolare del Saltarello suona solamente brani popolari abruzzesi e io li riarrangio in veste, diciamo, moderna. Questo brano qui ha il ritmo di reggaeton ed è stata l- la hit estiva di quest'estate. Stiamo presentando, preparando... altri progetti per la prossima estate, però magari ne parliamo dopo. Ok, l'ascoltiamo subito.
ma chi è questa Maria Nicola? Che bellissima, no? <ride> Volevo dire che io oltre ad essere fisarmonicista sono anche produttore del videoclip, della musica, arrangiatore, ho scritto insomma eh, le musiche di questo brano e ho fatto tutta la produzione discografica che è un lavoro diverso da quello del fisarmonicista. Sì. Chiaramente con questo progetto qui abbiamo fatto palchi con oltre 500.000 persone, abbiamo suonato, quindi siamo riusciti ad andare in televisione e sdoganare la fisarmonica e portarla nei grandi palchi. So he explains that uh, he's not only the accordionist of this uh, project, but he's at the origin of this project, but he also uh, writes the arrangement, he composes, he makes the production, production of the video clip, and uh, <clears throat> they had also already the opportunity to play in front of 500,000 people, which is huge. <laughs> It's huge and uh, so genial to include the accordion on this kind of project because it's so useful for us. So, and you have a lot of compliments on the chat. Danilo Di Mambro, il vincitore della categoria adulto. Grazie Danilo, Atlanze. grazie, complimenti a te per la vittoria. Vabbè, lui, sei, complimenti Danilo. Joaquin Munoz Donoso from Chile, you say bravo, <laughs> of course. And Estibali Racas, um, a collaborator from Spain, she's dancing, dancing and dancing. Thank you Estibali. <laughs> Allora, e l'ultimo che ho scelto sono le vacanze romane. Ti ok, ricordi? vacanze romane è una delle collaborazioni che abbiamo fatto con una cantante molto famosa in Italia, che è Antonella Ruggero, tra i più importanti del panorama del pop italiano. E questo brano qui è un suo cavallo di battaglia, uno dei suoi brani più famosi, dove io ho fatto l'arrangiamento per l'orchestra popolare del Saltarello. So, um, he made a kind of collaboration with Antonella Rogero, giusto? Which is a very, very famous Italian singer. So, it's the composition of this singer, but he made the arrangement for the group and we listen immediately, <coughs> sorry, Vacanze Romane. And uh, thank you, I, I will leave you now because uh, just after we go back to the result and I know that you are like that because you have some students in some categories and you still don't know the results. So <laughs> imagine I have some candidate in my house that they still don't know the result before. Imagine. <laughs> Ah no, you didn't understand, ok, I spoke English anyway. Allora, ehm, ti ringrazio per la tua visita, ti ringrazio Grazie. per il lavoro che fai con il nostro sponsor Paolo Soprani, che sono molto felice di incontrare questa, queste persone, Nicolas, che, Nicola, no, eh, Michel. Michel, Michel. E sono tutti simpaticissimi e fanno un ottimo bellissima, lavoro. Una bellissima famiglia. Eh sì, eh sì, è importante che l'artista fa la collaborazione con la ditta direttamente perché se no come facciamo per, per crescere. Ok Danilo, grazie a tutti, ti ringrazio, eh, buona serata. Eh, anche a te, eh, bravo per il tuo lavoro, eh, ascoltiamo adesso Vacanze Romane. <musica>
such fantastic arrangement from Danilo Di Paolo Nicola the Great. And we are back for the result. The transition was Danilo, uh, international collaborator with Diatonic. And now we go to the result of Diatonic with my friend Raymond Baudel. That's exactly what it is. We have some diatonic results as well now. And we start off with the International Open Trophy. Um, we have a category result of D2, which is 10 years and under with eight bases. That's precise. Uh, there's the translation of what D2 is for us. And uh, we had two contestants in this category, both from Italy. Still given nothing away, you see, as who might have won the category. But uh, here we go. In second place... The jury this, members. This is true. Would you like <laughs> the jury members first? One, one. One mistake for me, one mistake. Fifteen all. <laughs> you, you made in purpose, I'm sure. I know you. Okay, so let's present the juries. They are here, and again, a very international jury, because we have from Austria, Luis Erings, Steve Normandin from Croatia, from France, Rémi Geffroy, the winner of the big category last year, Antonio Tanguma from Mexico, Luis Pinero from Portugal, Clement Rosser from Slovenia, from Slovenia, Manuel Savron from Spain, Borja Rodriguez Tablado, and from UK, Graham Mackay. That's it, and of course, no Italians could feature on this jury, so of course, uh, Italian delegates and jury members had a little break for this one. But as I say, in second place from Italy, it was Thomas Tropicchio with a score of 19.43. So, I will translate your Italian. Thomas Tripicchion, <laughs> student okay. of Antonio Grosso. And just before we listen, I just want to say someone who make just a very nice uh, message, Celio de Souza Pinto from uh, France, who was a winner of one of our category. He say, bonjour à tous les maîtres. C'est très gentil. Bisous à toi, Celio, et gros bisous à maman. So, we listen, this Thomas Tripicchio, in this playing La Raspa. All my young, young studies, La Raspa. Let's go. famous uh, Raspa, here it is, and now, and now our winner, first place, good score, 23.11, 23.11, for Giovanni Leone from Italy, and uh, he's here, it's uh, Giovanni Leone, it's you, say to Giovanni, si, quanti anni hai? Nove. Nove, un bambino. Allora, quando ha cominciato a suonare la fisarmonica? Eh, da sei anni. No, a me di sei anni. <ride> Quanti anni avevi? Sei. Ecco. <ride> ok, ok, sì, da, da tre anni allora so di la fisarmonica. Grazie mamma eh, per l'aiuto. <ride> quasi quattro anni comunque, perché è quasi dieci anni. <ride> ah, ok, ok. Allora, chi è tuo maestro? Antonio Grosso. Antonio Grosso, sì, abbiamo fatto tutte le prove, e però lui eh, l'ho perso. <ride> Pensavo che arrivava adesso, gli ho detto che aveva un po' di ritardo, però ok, non importa. Allora, e perché hai cominciato a suonare la fisarmonica? Eh, perché in seconda con un mio amico alla fine eh, pre eh, ci prendevamo lo zaino abbasso e facevamo finta poi eh, mi è arrivata questa cosa e praticamente suonava qualsiasi cosa come se fosse una fisarmonica noi l'abbiamo visto allora gliela, gliene abbiamo preso uno piccolino ha cominciato con l'organetto a due bassi sì. e abbiamo visto che ah, aveva orecchio <ride> nel suonarlo e l'abbiamo scritto a scuola di musica wow. praticamente è una passione la sua 
Eh sì. E di più lui ha un bel professore, eh? guarda che bel pezzo di artista, Antonio Grosso che è arrivato adesso. Antonio, metti il suono, lo so che cambia niente perché stasera non hai voce tu, no? No. <ride> non parlo. <ride> ok. Ciao a tutti. Ciao, allora ehm, bravo a te maestro perché è la terza volta, non già quest'anno che hai un primo plus vincitore, diciamo. E che... Sì, sì, sì. Allora, bravissimo, no, non ti faccio parlare di più perché ho visto che hai cantato troppo, hai già ballato e cantato troppo per le prime vinciture e allora adesso sei un po' malato. Ok, allora ascoltiamo adesso il vincitore che si chiama Giovanni Leone. Eh, Felicitazioni Antonio Grosso per il tuo lavoro, continua, che Antonio è il nuovo delegato per la CMA diatonico in Italia, per Sud Italia. E, Giovanni, bravissimo, eh, continua a lavorare bene, ok? Sì. E mamma, sempre, sempre. sempre, sempre. E mamma, grazie per l'aiuto. Grazie a lei. Ok, bye bye e bravo. Ascoltiamo Buonasera. subito il pezzo Crazy Woman. Con Antonio Grosso. Continuiamo, sì, sei, sei fantastico, veramente, mi piace molto la bella energia, e tutti gli allievi di Antonio sono così, e sono veramente, suonano molto bene. Ok, allora puoi salire di Zoom adesso per lasciare il posto agli altri delle altre categorie e puoi festeggiare adesso. Ok. Ok, arrivederci. Grazie. Bravo. Goodbye. Goodbye. <ride> Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir. Uh, Raymond, let's go now to the next uh, category. But before I have... Uh, <laughs> I was going to get my own back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were expecting me. Um, I have a, a short video clip of the new sponsor. It's new, no, it's something like more than 10 years that he's a, his owner yeah. is a sponsor of the CMA. And uh, he ha they help us a lot and uh, they continue to help. So it's uh, the not new now because it's the XS model, very small. We will have presentation of the re version very small for the child, but this is the adult version, still small, but different look. Let's listen the XS, ready? <laughs> presentation very professional from the honor sponsor and now we go to the next category trophée mondial my friend the biggest category 
Yep, we're up to the Trophy Mondial. We have two results from the Trophy Mondial tonight. We have one junior category and one senior category. Yep, and it's the so, same jury members. Yep, yep. it's the so same jury not, members. I will not really and we have one jury presentation, therefore, for you to do. No, I just check it's the same. The same as D2? Oh, okay, yep. we'll let you off then. You don't want to do it for the Trophy Mondial? I can, okay. I can do it if you want. Ah. Okay, I do. I represent I... the jury, the jury of the Trophy Mondial. They are just here. I just have one manipulation to do. Here they are. So we have Louis Erings from Austria, Steve Normandin from Canada, Rémi Geoffroy from France, Luis Pinero from Portugal, Clement Rosa from Slovenia, Manuel Sabron from Slovenia, uh, Borja Rodriguez Tablado from Spain, and Graham McKay from UK. Bravo! Thank you. Uh, to be so, in category A1, which is juniors with up to four bases, make that point, it's up to four bases. So, the new accordion we saw with two could enter, don't worry, we don't have to have another category. But this category for juniors, up to four bases. And we start off with the presentation of the prizes up to places up to fourth place exactly so we have the sixth place uh, emmanuel evangelista from italy uh five, fifth place uh, davide valente from italy and uh, fourth place luca nardoiani from italy with 23.25 and so to jump over that barrier into third prize place we actually go across the first prize barrier as mark wise as well uh, it was a big jump from fourth to third it goes from 23.25 as you've just said to 23.60 and in third place from italy ricardo compagnoni ricardo compagnoni and uh, he will play tarantina from many composer la mano mosetti desideri e carpentieri let's go <laughs> something my friend <laughs> that is something and yeah. uh, and it's only the third place <laughs> well as i said it was a big jump up to that placing of 23.60 but uh of course so second place only a small jump further up we only went to 23.68 so very close again from italy valerio cardello cardillo yes and uh, we listen from uh, that second place valerio cardillo uh, super saltarello from enzo scacchia let's go <laughs> Thank you. 
Yep, this is again something with the Dietonic Accordion and now we go to the first place with uh, uh, Maurizio Pistilli, it's not the winner but the teacher of the winner and the winner is? And the winner is a score of 23.85, congratulations go to Anna Ventatilli. And it's not that often that we have girls uh, in a diatonic accordion, we need to mention it. And she's the winner, so genial. The time that uh, Mauricio Pistil is a teacher, will find the sound on Zoom. Oh. We, we check today, uh, we check, but it's not easy, you know. Um, we will listen from this uh, Anna Venditelli, Carnavale di Venezia. And after we will go with the interview of Mauricio, if he finds the sound. <laughs> Bravissima Anna Venditelli and she's with us. Uh, sorry, that's the second piece. She's with us finally. She finds it Zoom and uh, Mauricio finds it the sound. Bu <laughs> Buonasera a tutti e due. Puoi mettere il microfono, um, Anna? Buonasera. Allora, Buonasera. Uh, so sono felice di vederti, Maurizio. Mi ricordo di te da cinque anni fa in Italia? Sì. Sì, sì quando sì, così. Sì. Sì, un bel ricordo. Eh, fai un ottimo lavoro. Hai avuto... Quant quanti, allievi hai... quanti allievi hai presentato quest'anno? Uh, otto. Ah, otto. Eh, già è bello, perché è sempre un po' un inizio questo trofeo mondiale di diatonico. È, è bellissimo lavoro. È una bella vincitrice perché è il trofeo mondiale in delle categorie più difficili la junior ehm, allora adesso parlo un po' con Anna Anna quanti anni hai? Sì. 14 14 e perché ha suonato la fidarmonica? perché tempo fa l'ho vista per la prima volta da zio e poi l'ho presa come gioco e mi sono appassionata Ok, allora, prima ho, ho detto con Raymond Bodel che eh, ho visto che ci sono più ragazzi che ragazze, no? In questa fisarmonica o sono sbagliato? Anna? Sì. Ci sono più ragazzi che ragazze, no? Che suona la fisarmonica di Atonico. Sì, sai perché o è così? 
No, I just ask, uh, but um, I see that on this diatonic accordion as well, there are much more boys than girls, which is a little bit the opposite on the smallest category in the chromatic. And I ask, do you have any idea why? She say, OK, so we will not know. <laughs> <laughs> eh, Maurizio, mi puoi, spiegare, sì? mi puoi spiegare un po' come tu fai per fare suonare tanto veloce questi bambini? Con questa tecnica pulita, tanto chiara, come fai? Che è il segreto? Diciamo che io di natura tengo molto alla pulizia delle melodie, quindi per me la tecnica è molto importante. E quindi cerco di trasmetterlo anche a loro. Diciamo sono molto pignolo in questo qua, perché per me la musica diciamo, è un linguaggio. No? Allora uno quando suona e si fa capire quello che sta facendo, diciamo siamo a metà dell'opera, capito? Sì. Quindi io ci tengo molto alla tecnica e alla pulizia delle note. Poi pure ecco, eh, eh, insomma, mh, stando anche in, eh, suonando pure in viso orchestra, eh, eh, in cui sono molto, do, molto onorato della direzione del maestro Cardinali, quindi ecco, eh, siamo abituati molto nella pulizia delle note e nella pulizia tecnica, quindi ecco, cerco di, di trasmetterlo anche a loro. Ok, um, Anna, come, come lavori la, la fisarmonica? Come lo fai per lavorare? Per andare veloce? Que che sono gli esercizi che fai o que qual è il metodo che fai? Eh, allora, sono più volte al turno e poi seguo quello che mi dice il maestro con degli esercizi apposta che mi porta lui. Ok, mi puoi far vedere con la mano qual, che, che tipo di esercizio? Perché mi interessa a, a me per il cromatico. Eh, posso... Sì, sì, vai Maurizio, aiuto. Allora, diciamo che io faccio riprovare tante volte il passaggio. Sì. Faccio riprovare tante volte il passaggio con una mano molto leggera e cerco di far usare poco l'articolazione perché se il dito fa questo lavoro qui quindi praticamente fa doppio la lavoro non cammina è tipo come uno è tipo quando uno come uno fa eh, una corsa a ginocchia alte no sì, sì, sì. se gareggia con uno che corre normale non può vincere quindi la stessa cosa vale anche per il dito sì. cioè, con poca articolazione si cammina con la mano molto leggera e, e la stessa cosa anche il braccio ok ecco uh, io uh, lasciami tradurre perché è importante i ask him uh, what is uh, the, the kind of secret to have this uh, young child playing so fast and so light and he says that um, uh, in fact it's like if you run you don't do that with the legs so he just said that we need to reduce the movement of the fingers and then to say as close as the keyboard so it's exactly the same way we practice with chromatic and it works too so bravissimo e grazie sì sì lavoriamo anche lo stesso però è, è, è super logico intelligente e funziona molto bene allora Maurizio e poi, sì e poi vai io poi um, diciamo che sulla fisarmonica uh, uso tanto eh, la, la tecnica Anon sì, sì. Quindi, e, e poi progressivamente faccio aumentare la velocità con eh, una mano molto leggera quindi ecco faccio, faccio fare gli esercizi di Anon i Zerni eh, i volumi di Berben insomma applico queste regole qui insomma cerco di trasmettere ai miei allievi quello che mi ha trasmesso il mio maestro che è è cardinale insomma okay. tutto qua ok te, ti ringrazio molto uh, per questa Grazie. informazione importante ok allora eh, bravo a tutti e due all'allievo e soprattutto al maestro che fa il lavoro per tutti um, spero di vederti un'altra volta quest'anno o l'anno prossimo ovviamente ok perfetto grazie grazie, grazie. Arrivederci, vi lascio uscire da solo di Zoom perché noi facciamo Grazie. la prossima categoria. Bravissime. E campione del Grazie. mondo, eh? Campione del mondo, ragazza. <ride> Siamo eh, molto onorati, molto eh, contenti. Eh. Si dice. <ride> Bravo. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Raymond Borel, so now we move to another category.
Yeah, we move up for uh, Trophy Mondial Seniors now for this diatonic uh, category. We're going up to um, category B2, which is for eight bases. So it's seniors with eight bases. And again, it was the same jury that was involved with this category. So you won't present it again. I was I was ready to do it, but okay. Ah, you see, we there we go. And uh, I'll let you present though those that were placed fifth and fourth. Yes, I am ready. So you can see that at the fifth place, Antonio Fedele from Italy with a score of 22.37. And at the fourth place, Domenico Amendola from Italy equally with a point 22.72. Excellent. So we then go up to third place and third place with a score of 23.03 goes to Kevin Palermo. Kevin Palermo from Italy, who will play Valser in 12 ottave di Danilo Di Paolo Nicola. Let's go. was the third place on this uh, category Trophy Mondial Senior 8 bases, Kevin Palermo with 23.05. And from third place up to second, a big jump up to 23.72. From Italy, Tito Nessi. Tito Nessi and uh, he will play for us Nuit d'Inspiration, très joli, uh, written by uh, Mr. Grosso. Antonio Grosso, that uh, was the teacher winner of the previous Didu category. Let's go. <laughs> Nesci from Italy, second place of this uh, World Championship Trophy Mondial 2022 in the category uh, Senior 8 Bases. And now the winner is with us. The winner is with us, definitely. The winner's with us. Wonderful score, 
24.60. That must be one of the highest that we've had so far and I would challenge it to be beaten in the next week and a half but seriously superb result um, to our winner from in Italy of course with us Angelo Lutari and congratulations and to our winner of course his teacher <laughs> Angelo Lucarelli and his teacher Danilo Di Paolo Nicola. Uh, Grazie. Bravissimo. Hi Raymond, you are a great conductor. <laughs> Complimenti, bravo. bravo. Bravo to you. Allora vi traduco la cosa che lui ha detto perché Angelo hai avuto il punto di 24.60 che è il punto più alto di tutta la CME dall'inizio. Grazie. Sembra eh, molto... molto alto, complimenti, bravo Angelo. Grazie, grazie. Sembra molto felice Angelo. <ride> e deve essere molto felice perché eh, ci prova da tanto tempo, quindi è un risultato, su, diciamo, sudato si dice. Sudato. Sì. È sudato. <ride> eh, Angelo, quanti anni hai? 20. 20? Sì. Sembra giovanissimo. E, um, dove sei d'Italia? in un paesino in provincia di Campo Basso Campo Basso mm. <ride> non è molissimo Campo Basso <ride> sì, un basso ok, allora da quanti anni lavori con il maestro Danilo di Palo Nicola? con Danilo sono circa 2-3 anni 2-3 anni, ok è simpatico sì. nella lezione? sì, è simpatico veramente? <ride> ok, adesso chiedo al maestro Danilo, lui come lavori? bene? eh, diciamo lui studia, si impegna Ah, okay. ok, allora o, o, o faccio una richiesta al maestro presidente eh, Maurizio Pistilli che ha fatto un piccolo masterclass sull'articolazione. Mi puoi dare un piccolo truc per fare suonare tanto veloce e preciso questi, questa gioventù? Te lo do io il trucco? Sì, tra tu e io, gli altri <ride> non ascoltano. Allora io faccio fare esercizi del faccio studiare il brano senza errori poi lo faccio suonare lento a metà velocità con tre articolazioni staccato legato e portato quindi e poi aumentiamo la velocità con il metronomo ma è fondamentale nell'ultima fase che angelo sa bene di suonare i brani a metà velocità lentissimi per controllare tutto bene eh, l'articolazione, spingere molto sui, sui bottoni, così poi quando vai veloce trovi già la strada sì. spianata. Sì, sì, però lento è super importante, sì, però è solo lento che il cervello capisce le cose e dopo trasforma le riflessioni in riflessi e funziona veramente bene. E, uh, e ha funzionato molto bene perché hai vinto, eh, campione del mondo, eh, amico mio. Insegnor, eh. eh, come vedi il tuo futuro con la fisarmonica? È sempre, diciamo, nel migliorare. Sì, però eh, tu vuoi fare un mestiere di questo o è solo una passione? No, no, vorrei far diventare questo un mestiere. Ah, bravissimo. So, yes, he just want to make a job with a Korean and he has everything and the first certificate of world champion can open a few uh, strade, uh, a few ways. Okay, so we will listen to your program. Um, can you present the program you played? Uh, puoi presentare il tuo programma, ti ricordi? Eh sì. Allora, ho suonato e Paul Jagger, un brano di Danilo di Nicola, poi Fulmine di Riccardo Tesi e Saltarello, sempre di Danilo di Paolo Nicola. Okay. E tutti questi pezzi qui sono stati arrangiati da sempre al maestro Danilo di Polonzo. Ok, bravissimo. Allora, eh, Dani, eh, Danilo, eh, ti, ti ringrazio per la tua presenza un'altra volta. Eh, bravissimo per il lavoro che tu fai, che è ottimo risultato, un'ottima passione che veramente fa, trasmetti perfettamente. Sono molto felice di vedere questo lavoro nel diatonico. E Angelo, sei fortunato perché è un maestro talentuoso, però... Tu hai un talento proprio, ho sentito già, è veramente impressionante. Allora, grazie a voi, grazie, grazie a voi e complimenti tutti. per l'organizzazione, per la conduzione, insomma per l'opportunità. 
Eh, mi fa piacere. Uh, Raymond Baudel, before we listen, perhaps we'll present the menu of tomorrow or something? Yeah, with pleasure, of course. Uh, another busy pack night uh, tomorrow night, slightly differently. We've got some chromatic categories of the International Open Trophy, category four, which is 14 and under with variety world music. We then move on to the Trophy Mondial chromatic with the wonderful world music category. And then after that, we've got some orchestral categories. So complete diversity and, of course, guests as well. Thank you so much. So uh, super celebration for uh, Angelo and Danilo. You can celebrate. Thank Potete you. festeggiare un po'. E ascoltiamo subito yeah. Apple Jacker, Apple Jacker from Danilo Di Palo Nicola, Fulmine del Padrino della CMA per il diatonico Riccardo Tesi e Saltarello di Danilo Di Palo Nicola. Bravissimo. Ciao. A presto. Complimenti, bravi. Campione del mondo.
Thank you.